the Black Moon is no longer the focus of my dreams. It has become a backdrop for cannon fire, exploding ships and stations. The visions grow more intense as I travel farther away from home. Home. These days the word has a hollow ring to it. Am I right to let events sweep me along like this? But I cannot indulge in such thoughts. At this stage, even a small lapse in attention could cost millions of lives. Billions. This is no time to lose my resolve. We drove the Gorgs from the Aatrox system and seized control. We have plans to erect another fortress station. If ceasefire negotiations prove fruitful, we may usher in a more lasting peace with the reigning clan. Unfortunately, this will not guarantee complete stability. The Vardraks have warned us that the Gorgs are far from unified when it comes to political matters. Conflicts between clans are common, and the ruling clan's authority is not absolute. Clans that declare themselves renegades are free to attack ships that stray into their systems, ceasefire or no ceasefire. Inevitably, this schism means that many more lives must be risked and lost. Rear Admiral Norbank has promoted me to Commodore and has placed the heavy cruiser Avalanche under my command. This allows him to send me on highly perilous missions in the most fiercely contested sectors. I should have guessed there would be a catch. Working with Commander Sweetwater and the Ghosts, we operate as a quick response unit. Our duty is to support reconnaissance missions, protecting the Ghosts, and reacting to incidents on the bloody and mutinous frontier. The importance of our role is matched only by the phenomenal risks involved. I can only hope that Angel is correct, and that somehow our actions will prove to be steps on the path to our ultimate goal, the liberation of Earth. As for the ghosts, they're fascinating company, really. I feel a sort of adolescent pride that the ghosts have chosen me as their partner, even if this was mainly down to luck. Their liaison officer, Commander Sweetwater, is almost as difficult to handle as the ghost scouts themselves. At least I don't end up sparring with the latter on a daily basis. Given the extent of her ability, I feel Sweetwater's arrogance is forgivable. Perhaps we cannot really consider her human anymore. She spent a long time in Mist, the ghost's system, and they have altered her, both anatomically and mentally. She has capabilities the average human can only dream about. I must confess that I envy her at times. Like Angel, she is both my closest ally and a distant enigma. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Nexus, the Jupiter Incident. This is mission 15. That's a quite a good clip there. What are we doing today? Vacation is over, Commodore. The ghosts have brought me some interesting news. Even Central Command haven't heard about this yet. Really? Our scouts have encountered an inactive mechanoid within Ragra territory. It's floating among the asteroids as if dead. We have never seen anything like this before. Oh, it's five days after what would have been my birthday if I was still alive. Can you guess when my birthday is? Did you see the date? You'll see it again soon if you don't. There we go. There's the date in the top left. I would be aged. Your AI, I beg your pardon, I mean Miss Angel, seems very excited. She believes we should take a closer look at this anomaly. And I agree. We ought to find out what happened to it, and how it ended up out of action. I'm sure you're aware how valuable this discovery may turn out to be. I would be aged 123, I believe. I've anticipated a positive response, Commodore. We're already prepared for a departure. How long does it take us to get there? One, two, 
three. Three days. Okay, let's go to configure. We now have the avalanche in our fleet. Let's go to configuration. Um, volcano plasma gun could be good. Compared to the magma, it just is a bit more damage. 25% more damage. Um, squadrons. We now have cyborg squads. And flash fighters. <coughs> I'm going to get a cyborg squad. Let's go to devices. We have a blinder, which is good for when we're cloaking. Um, hmm. Stink. Uh, there's no damage, but it just totally destroys their senses. Good for cloaking and getting away. Um, we've got combat drive. We've got plasma stream engine. Um, advanced sensor array, I think I want. Advanced sensor array, yep. Um, quark support generator. Let's get one of these. Um, combat firestorm generator, eh? What else do we have? Um, just the volcano plasma gun. So let's get the firestorm, I think. That is three efficiency, three efficiency, four efficiency. So, yep, we'll get that. And confirm. Then we're going to go to the avalanche. You're pretty empty at the moment, but you have Gatling guns. I don't like torpedoes. So, we're going to remove these. Bubble energy shells. So, you've got a magma plasma gun. Let's get a volcano plasma gun we've only got one of them anyway bubble energy shell is here just put this here and then a particle gatling gun here let's confirm this for now what do we have on you gatling gun energy shells magma plasma guns we're not going for lasers then okay um Gatling, two bubble, and these two a hull and shield. So that's a good mix there. We've got one laser global ready. We could get another one. We've got layer shield, combat fire cloud, support generator. Um, let's get one support generator. Um, do you want? We've got one plasma cell already. ECM you have um, plasma stream we don't have enough points for combat drives let's get a combat drive and an electron cell let's confirm you and then Brutus these are damaged let's fix these and this and oops undo okay so fix Fix, fix, fix. Okay, you're you haven't got much left now. Light rider engine that could be good. Um, fusion support generator. What weapons do you have? You have particle Gatling cannon. That's going to be two points. So let's get rid of this and have a, a magma plasma gun. And then a bubble energy shell, and you can have a particle Gatling gun. Confirm that. And then you, you don't need any repairs. So you've got bubble energy shell. Let's get rid of this and this. Add a magma and a particle. Then... Is a firestorm generator in you? A quark support generator? How come you can't get them then? Let's confirm that quickly. Oh, you can. We just don't have enough points. Okay. Um, let's get a... So we'll get a firestorm generator so you can fire faster. And... A... 
Quark support generator, I think. What's happened to my setup? That's weird. For some reason it's changed. Let's confirm that. Maybe because some of the old things are no longer available or... But oh well. What are you good at? Information, military, science, engineering. Okay. There's no promotions. Let's go back and start the mission, shall we? Sir, the recon data was accurate. There is a mechanoid at the coordinates given. What did you expect? A line of go-go dancers? <laughs> the scout's talent for retrieving sensitive information without being detected is unrivaled. We have nothing but the greatest respect for them. Let's go the defensive. The only unexpected thing here is that I was the first to be told about such an important discovery. You weren't the first, Commander. I was. Of course. But I understand that Rear Admiral Norbank has yet to hear of this. That's my understanding, too. Might well, whoever knows scan. about it, I owe you my thanks, Commander. You don't owe me a thing, Commodore. You if you happen to benefit it. from something I say, that's just a coincidence. If you're so desperate to show your gratitude, you can start by replacing the pastel pink sheets in my cabin. You're right. I'm sure they clash with your Aisha. <laughs> Calling all ships. Do not open fire on the mechanoid under any circumstances. I repeat, under no circumstances should you fire at the mechanoid. If it decides to wake up, we're all dead. Copy that, sir. Copy that, Commodore. We are not opening fire. Its energy level is so low that a few shots probably won't recharge it to a critical level, but that's not a theory I want to test. The use of the data scanner should be well within acceptable parameters. If we leave it behind, I calculate it will take approximately 16 months to gather sufficient sunlight to reactivate itself. Using the scanner will reduce its recharge time to five and a half months. How did it get to this state? I have insufficient data to form a cogent hypothesis. If I get the opportunity to take a closer look, maybe I will be able to tell you more. What does the data tell us? The mechanoid body is basically nanomolecular. <clears throat> it consists of tiny machines. These machines can organize themselves into almost any shape imaginable. With its energy level so low, the main algorithms of the mechanoid software are inactive. In its current state, I believe I could even take control of it. Ooh. Then you oh, could shit. even destroy it. Destroy it? Yes, I could do that. Of course, that would prevent my studying it further. It's a mechanoid, Angel, not a damn butterfly. It's too big to take with us, and besides, energy from the ship's system might reanimate it. I'm going over. This is unbelievable. They've created the perfect hardware. Everything is so... comfortable. Angel, return immediately. The mechanoid's energy level is increasing. Don't panic. The energy increase is only me. I've got everything under control. Give me a chance to dig deeper. I need more time. Okay. Time's not on our side. You should know better than to gamble like this. The only thing that we know about this technology is that it's extremely destructive. If you can destroy <coughs> it, do so. Then come back immediately. Angel? Angel, do you hear me? Angel, answer me! I do not understand. Please what? repeat. Is there a problem? Commodore, Angel is talking in Japanese. Japanese? Why? Did anyone understand what she just said? Well, technically, her native language is Japanese. My knowledge of the language is rudimentary, but it sounds to me like poetry. Poetry. Poetry? Angel, return immediately. That's an order. Angel, are you still there? The air shimmers. White flight of an unknown insect. Commodore, I think we may be in trouble. I'm pleased to see all those years of academic study were <laughs> wasted, Mr. Veltman. Something must have tipped the balance of her mind. She's reciting poems, haikus. <coughs> her artistic subroutines have taken over. It may be a defense strategy to protect her mind against the aggressive mechanoid algorithms. Just what we need, a poetry recital. Can we do anything to help her? I'm afraid we can do nothing but wait. Angel, listen to me. Angel you have waits. to come back immediately. Are you all right? Sleet dappled snowscape. Warm <laughs> imprint in bed sheets. Split. <laughs> by a single pane. 
bed sheets? <laughs> what are you talking about? What happened to you? Are you there? Dawn's <laughs> burnt down. Now I can see the moon. Oh, that's funny. Uh oh. That's a lot of enemy ships. Enemy ship identified. Oh dear. We might be in trouble here. <clears throat> Where have they disappeared to? I've got an advanced scanner. Enemy ship identified. Where? Gorg ships have arrived. Battleship. Did you really believe that real warriors would be fooled by your greased handshakes and supplicatory lias? Did you think we wouldn't see through the painted mask of hypocrisy? Fools! Shadlock recognizes no treaty! Save the eternal oh God dear. of death in glorious battle! Sir, we estimate they're at least twice as strong as us. All units, raise your shields. Angel, your karaoke slot's over. Return to the ship. We cannot stay here and fight. Oh my god. Um, destroy all Gorg ships. Don't let the mechanoid fall into Gorg hands. Okay. Look thus upon this crumbling world. A star at dawn, a petal in the breeze. A bubble trembling on a dreamer's lid. A guttering flame, Attack slash. A these are all destroyers. Let's kill these quickly first. The Group them together. The blow us to pieces, or the fight will recharge the mechanoid. We're all going to die here with you. You've got to come back. Autumn wind, gods, Buddha, lies, lies, lies. Sir, we'll have Who's to commit ourselves soon. Awaiting your orders. Commodore, we have to go. We don't stand a chance. Warning. We can't leave Angel behind. And we can't allow the Gorgs to get the mechanoid. Even if it means our lives? The Enemy professor fight is right. incoming. We need the mechanoid at all costs. Enemy bomb. Angel? Everything's alright, Commodore. I experienced some problems with my personality. Okay, head back to the rectified. My mechanoid. analysis is still incomplete, but I can use some of the mechanoid systems against the Gorgs. I'll be able to control their ships for a short These are period of bombers. time. Do not forget, Commodore. Our possessing of this mechanoid is the key to rescuing Earth. We are okay, shoot to you. What kind of personalities are you talking about? There'll be time for that later, Doctor. Attention all ships, we're engaging in Come combat. On. They're firing their lasers. Let's kill Slash first, I think. Come on. I have disabled the engines of the darkness. Darkness? Where's the darkness? Um over there. Okay, so you're staying behind. Yes, sir. Target slash. Be aggressive. Understood. Target slash, come on. Enemy squadron destroyed. Good, good. What's being attacked on you? Commodore, we have a problem. The mechanoid is recharging fast because of all the dispersed energy. It is going to escape from under my control. What? How much time do we have left? Less than 10 minutes. I'll be able to escape in time, but don't move too far away. Okay. Warning. Incoming enemy fighters. Yes, sir. Enemy shield oh. has collapsed. Okay, Task feel the slash. Complete. Injuring is taking a lot of shield damage. Let's boost your shields then. Come, kill the slash, kill the slash, come on. Target ship is being evacuated. Okay, target reader. Warning. Shields down. Shields down, not good. There's the fighters all over the place. Commodore, the Mauler is yours. The Mauler? What? Where? Nice. Um, target radar. Using your energy to keep your shields up. You need to boost shields as well. So you don't need to boost shields yet. Your shields are back up to uh, acceptable level. Everyone boost weapons. Haha, now they're attacking the Mauler. Enemy squadron destroyed. 
I have disabled the engines of the darkness. Again. Um, who are we attacking again? We're attacking Raiders shields. shields oh down. god damn it. Stop doing that. Kill Raider, come on, faster, faster, faster. Everyone boost weapons. Affirmative. Kill Raider. I have overloaded the weapon generator of the darkness. Shield down. Why have you done that? Or is it stop firing? Destroy Raider. Task complete. Come on, kill him. He's going to be evacuated soon, then we're going to attack Slash. No, Slash is down. Target ship is being evacuated. Yes, sir. Target grinder. Shields down. Avalanche of shields are down. Boost your shields. Weapons off. Commodore, the mauler is yours. Mauler is mine. Warning. Shields down. Target grinder. Injuring. Boost shields. Come on. Kaboom! Aye, aye, Come on, get grinder shields, please. Come on, go, 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 go. Oop, Maura's back on their team again. Kill the grinder. Everyone Come weapons. The menace is yours. Ooh, the menace. Um, get yeah. grinder. Come on. Everyone be aggressive. Warning. Shield down. That's okay. Understood. Kill the grinder, please. Enemy shield. Everyone get his hull, come on. Complete. Avalanche. Is being evacuated. Boost your shields. Let's get ambush. Slash is there. Zoom in a bit. Let's get the menace actually. Let's get menace. Come on. What weapons do you have? Phalanx lasers. I could get my gunboats going in, but no. Let's just kill the menace. You run out of energy. I have disabled the engines of the Mauler. No, we're going for Menace. The shield's already halfway down, but thank you anyway. Slowly removing their shield damaging capabilities. <coughs> Menace's shields are almost down. Come on, if it could give us the bloodshed, that'd be nice. Enemy shield has Let's kill you. Task complete. Warning. Come on. Shield Injury and shields again. The weapon generator of the darkness. The darkness isn't firing anymore. Nope, not firing anymore. That's okay then. Warning. Shield down. Target ship is being evacuated. Okay, let's get. The ambush. Come on. Destroy the ambush of shields. The weapon generator of the mauler. Good, good. Mauler can't fire. Where's the mauler? You're the mauler. Or oh, disable their shields. Go on, Angel. Disable their shields. That'd be nice. Warning. Down. Luckily they're attacking Angel Wing. It's of alien origin and possesses regeneration abilities. Any damage it does take before the shield gets back on gets repaired quite quickly, which is pretty good. Avalanche is taking a little bit of damage. Going after the ambush. We're pretty close here. I have disabled the engines of the darkness. Task complete. Let's destroy his hull. Warning. Shield down. Again. Darkness just drifting. Target ship is being evacuated. Okay, got you. 
let's target the darkness. Darkness, it can't move. And the ability to... I have overloaded the weapon generator of the Mauler. The Mauler's up here, so you're not firing, so just you and you. And you're moving again. Let's kill the darkness. Soon it's just going to be the bloodshed. If we go phalanx laser, do they not have IP drives? I wonder if they're going to try and get away. Enemy shield Let's get his hull. Get the bloodshed, get the bloodshed, get the bloodshed, come on. While the shield's down. Warning. Shield's down. That's fine. These guys don't have much energy shell, energy shell, plasma, plasma, torpedo, torpedo. Well, torpedoes they can't really use at this range. Bloodshed's going down pretty quick. Commodore, the mechanoid has recharged. I have lost my control over it. Oh no. Oh, it's attacking um, the Mauler. That's okay. We're getting the darkness. Target ship is being evacuated. Enemy shield. Destroy his hull. Target ship is being evacuated. And Why didn't it attack? It's leaving. One icicle short. Another is long. What? Why is it like that? Affirmative. What are you on about, Angel? Well, considering how outnumbered we were, I'm quite surprised how well we did. The mission may have been considered a success, though we did not achieve all our objectives. Well, yes we did. It could have turned out a lot worse. Angel returned with a great deal of information from the mechanoid that will no doubt prove useful in the future. We used one torpedo. That's probably on a ship that we captured. Otherwise, we'd have used a lot more than that. We killed all these and the fighters and we didn't actually lose anything so that was pretty good well that's been it for mission 15 guys join me next time for mission 16 i'll see you then